Hello everyone, Pentef here today for a new in-shop video concerning the E25 that hit the shop today for, let me see, 13 euros, uh, at least in France, I don't know what is the currency in the other countries. And let's take a look at the offer, that seems clearly juicy because we have a 60, no, 70% reduction. We have the E25, the tier 7 German tank, the garage slot, 9 equipment uh, slot already uh, available, the legendary camouflage, 7 days of premium, some certificate boosters and the Blitz Order legendary avatar. Honestly, that's a great offer. For those of you who already know this tank, uh, and probably a lot of you know that, it's quite an old tank, but still it checks out. I mean, it's a great, great tank. Let's take a look at the characteristics a little bit more, just to know what we are facing. First thing first, let's talk about the gun. Even if it's a tier 6 one, don't make it a bad one. Don't don't think it's it's a bad tank just because of the gun, because this gun is clearly amazing. Look at the dispersion. The dispersion is amazing. 0 0.27 with a huge damage per minute of 3000 because you have 3.2 seconds of reload for an average alpha damage of 160. Therefore, that's gonna be the kind of tank that is an annoying little mosquito. You're not gonna do a lot of damage by uh, between each shot, but your, uh, your reload time will make you one of the best on the battlefield. So, now, uh, maybe the, the main difference between this one and the T23-3 that we reviewed a little bit earlier this uh, this day is probably the fact that this one actually has a good penetration. 194 with the regular shells, 250 with the gold shells. Knowing that it also has a PCRs, therefore uh, you're gonna have... Uh, you're, you're gonna penetrate easily your targets uh, more easily than if you had APs with, gold, uh, with uh, regular shells. And for gold shells, is it's hit, so really be careful about not shooting at spaced armor. Now, the last thing may be that's the engine. The engine is extremely good with this one because you can climb up to more than 60 km per hour with the E25 when you're well equipped. Uh, and to, to, to equip it, that's what I'm using right now and that's what you're gonna see in the replays. Chocolate, protective kit, improved fuel, and for the equipments, that's what I'm using right now. As always, I'm not gonna commentate, I'm just gonna leave it here and you're gonna be able to get the same equipments as I take them, if you want to. Now that we reviewed the tank in the garage, let's go back into the replay. First, we are gonna see how the tank performs when you're not top tier, when you're facing tier 8s. Uh, as always, I'm using the great mobility of the tank to climb up with the mediums, because clearly you can use it as a medium support. If you stay in the back, uh, yeah, if you stay in the back, your camo is gonna do the trick, because as you can see, your tank is really, really small, and the smallest the gun, uh, the smallest, sorry, the tank, the better the camo. And here, clearly, it's not an exception to the rule, because, oh boy, do you have a good camo. So here I'm trying a little sneaky spot, but I see that there is nothing. So I said to myself, hey, you know what? They all dropped off. We can see from the minimap that they probably did. So we can just go there. We go for a snapshot on the Bulldog. And now we're going to focus on the Dracula uh, because the Dracula is right in front of us. And look at this beauty. Look at the Dracula. We are completely destroying him with our DPM and the guy is not even moving. I don't know, uh, probably probably it's a bot or something like this, but we don't care. That's uh, that's some cool news for us because we managed to nearly destroy the whole Dracula by ourselves in less than 25 seconds. That's the power of the E25. Even if your alpha damage is not the most frightening, as long as you have 3.2 seconds of reload, you're gonna be effective. Here, we only have to deal with the Bulldog, we managed to kill him, and now that's where the fun begins. We see the T-34, I don't know if he shot or not, I'm just gonna get some shots on him, but the Panther is crossing, so we went for the Panther instead. I see that I can go through, I'm trying to get away, but unfortunately I locked myself against the, uh, against the church. And uh, of, of course you don't have any armor with this one, so clearly the T-34 with more than 250 millimeters of penetration can go through my armor easily. Uh, maybe I, f I forgot to mention something concerning the E25, you're extremely weak to HE shells, so really be careful about that, because as soon as your, uh, your tank is on the sides, people tend to use HEs and it's gonna work effectively, so be careful about that. 
Now, I'm gonna go straight in. I'm gonna use my great gun uh, reload to destroy completely that KV-3. We were a little bit lucky here that we bounced the KV-3 with uh, with our tracks, but that, that's his fault if he doesn't know how to aim. Now, we kill the KV-3. We only have to deal with 234 and WZ Blaze. We go for a first shot on the WZ. I wanted to perma track him. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time. As you can see, use the repair kit. I want to go on the T-34, but I think that's a bad idea. I could pr probably circle, and that's what I should have done. I should have gone in the back and killed the WZ, because clearly the WZ was focused on the Type 59. But unfortunately, I stayed here because I was a little bit too greedy on the T-34. I really wanted to get my shots done on, uh, on him, but unfortunately, it's not working as intended, because the guy is watching me all the freaking time. That's why I'm waiting for him to shoot. RHM put the first shot, Type 62 the second, and I come to the third, killing the T-34. That's uh, that's how you want to play your E25. You're not really... You can go frontline if you're sure your enemy already shot it, but most of the time you're gonna go just a sneaky way. You're gonna play it sneaky with your, your medium support, etc. Now that we saw how the tank performs in tier 8, let's see how it performs when it's top tier. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to this guy, the E25, because he was a really, really nice guy. I'm all during the battle and uh, after through PMs. So if you if you come here, man, uh, thank you, thank you for the good love I had. And uh, yeah, the, the troll was uh, gentle. I didn't I didn't want it to to be mean to you, but I think you you already understood that. So thank you. That was nice. Now concerning the replay, I first wanted to take this position just to be able to sneak some shots at the beginning. And the Yak Panther is acting like a total cunt, getting me away from here. Therefore, I'm just gonna insult him because you already know how salty I am when these kinds of things happen. And I'm gonna go away. Uh, no, no, I don't need to stay here really. I'm just gonna maybe try to get a shot somewhere if I can. And after, I'm gonna go rush the AMX M445. Because as you can see, if they are on the other side of the map, it probably means that the AMX is alone. And if the AMX is alone, we can just destroy him. That's why I'm using my great mobility, let's go, let's go, let's go. We go as fast as possible on the AMX and that's where you're gonna see, you're really gonna see the power of the E25 gun right there. Look at that. Look at how amazingly we are gonna destroy that guy. For the moment he already spotted us but he doesn't know if he should take care of us or not. He went for a snapshot, unfortunately for him he missed. He's not even watching us right now. I should have popped adrenaline straight away but uh, I, I forgot. now. Finally, I used it and look at this look at the reload time with adrenaline guys really that's one of the few tanks Adrenaline is extremely worth playing with because oh boy when you drop when you already have a great reload of 3.2 seconds But you drop it off 20% uh, down It makes you having one of the best DPMs in the game especially at tier 7 I think you can reach something like 3.4 3.5 or 3.6 K average damage DPM with the with D25 when you pop some adrenaline. So yeah, clearly that was worth it. Now, let's see, we go for the Shido, Shido is right dead. Um, I had the choice here, I could have helped my mediums or helped that poor T34, but I thought, you know what? I'm a turretless TD, but the T-34 to GFT is also a turretless TD. So it's all about who has the better mobility to be able to perma-track the other. And I thought, I'm an E-25, that's a T-34 too. He doesn't have any chance against me if I try to circle him, that's why I went for a circle. We go for a first shot, second shot, we're gonna try to kill him before he can reload and kill us. Unfortunately, he had time to return. Is he gonna kill us? No, he's probably not gonna kill us. Just one shot, we finish him off, no problem. And I don't know if you checked the minimap, but we know where the SU 12244 is. The one, the SU 12244 is on the top of the hill, right there in the bush. And I decided to go straight on him just because I have enough HPs. I mean, I can do whatever I want. If I want to kill that guy, I can just go in and kill that guy. I knew he was here, I pre-aimed, I go for, an, for a heat shell because I was not sure. He missed, and as soon as he missed, the guy rage quit. Very nice, Ra rage quit. Ryan. Why not, why not? After all, I don't care, it's gonna make more, more and more damage for me. I go for a last shot, and fortunately, I didn't have time to kill the guy before the SU shows up and takes the kill. 
but I don't care, that was still a nice game. As you can see, you'd play it at middle, middle or long range distance, that's what works the best for the E25. I hope the review helped me, helps you sorry, knowing if the tank was worth it or not. Personally, I truly think it's worth it, even if I'm not a huge fan of the E25, I'm gonna admit. But still, for 13 euros, it's a big yes for me, and that's a juicy offer that you should try to get if you can, and also if you like the playstyle. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.